Welcome to a video from the DigitalLifestyle.com, new Windows 11 build to look at. This is build 22593 for Windows Insiders on the beta channel and dev channel. This device here is on the beta channel. Uh, one thing, notice it does still have the watermark on it if you're on the beta channel. A few people have pointed out that they didn't expect to see that, but it's because all the these builds have a watermark and an expiry date, that's what you get. Dev channels devices have had that for a while, beta channel will get that. At some point I think the watermark will disappear um, and then just before this gets released or this update gets released to general Windows users. Uh, so this build doesn't have a lot of features. I was expecting to see the tabbed file explorer, uh, but that didn't show up uh, this time. But there are some changes to explorer and some other bits and pieces that I wanted to show you. There's uh, a lot of fixes and there's some known issues. So let's go to file explorer and have a look at that. So here's file explorer. Now you notice the previous versions or the current version of Windows says uh, quick access across the top here. This is now home, so you see it's got a home icon there instead of the little star. Uh, the content is similar, uh, it's more or less the same stuff. You see, I've got the thumbnails on the folders now, which you don't get, uh, or you didn't get on previous ones. But also, um, I've got my content from local PC on here as recent and favourites, and also, also content from OneDrive. And if I was sharing something from SharePoint, I could have that. If someone had shared from a OneDrive file with me, that could appear on here. So you notice mine says, please sign in there. That's because one of the Microsoft accounts I've got associated with have been on this machine before it needs signing in, so not all of them. I've just added a file to the favourites as well, so you can kind of see how I've got... Um, uh, you've got your favourites there and your, your recents are all from the cloud so it could be OneDrive, one uh, local machine, it could be something somebody shared with you, um, that kind of thing. So that's all your, your OneDrive. So um, yeah, a bit of a new look for that. The tab bit is going to be up here. You'll just be able to click new tab and you'll get all this in, in a new tab and you can have multiple tabs in there. So not quite, Microsoft aren't quite ready with that yet. Right, let's have a look at some of the other changes. If you do Windows and a Z key, you get a number there showing you um, so you how you can flick. So if I do two, press two now, and I can flick between that by pressing one and so on. So you can kind of use so with the shortcut key Windows Z. So Windows Z, uh, I press one if I wanted that split layout, and then press two if I wanted the right hand one, and so on. So the memory uh, integrity core isolation feature in Windows Security, this has been around for a few builds, um, and they're now going to notify you that the feature is currently off, so the user can turn it back on if you'd put it on. So um, that's probably a whole topic in itself. It's just it's a security feature. There's some uh, change to the input keys as well but I won't go through all those now so actually those are the main changes there is a change if you've got a tablet um, the little tablet menu that pops up uh, it shows Windows Journal now as well other than that the rest of the things are just fixes they fix some issues with Explorer crashing I haven't seen too many of them myself but I've read about them so um, that's good to see if uh, oh, the other thing I did see is that they changed the layout of the folders slightly so they're more I think they're slightly larger more pronounced and so they're easier to see and so there's fixes on the taskbar and around tablet optimization where it, that's the, I've got a separate video showing the new tablet features in Windows 11 but uh, some of the th the uh, there's some issues with that and they, they fix those as well they fix some start menu issues um, the folders, like I said, are a little bit bigger, but that's the main change that I can see now. They've done some fixes on that as well with Windows X, and um, they fix some issues with the File Explorer on the DPI, uh, with large DPI screens. I'll include a full link of fixes on the digitallifestyle.com as well. There are still some known issues. Uh, you won't be offered this if you're uh, in China on a Lenovo PC, and you, if you're on Windows 10, you can't actually get this build um, you can't jump straight from Windows 10 to this build. You need to go on um, release preview, get the the latest Windows 11 build, and then switch to, uh, to dev or beta. 
And they're um, still looking at taskbar issues with uh, tablet mode and two-in-ones. And there's still some issues with live, caps uh, live captions as well. So those are the main changes. The uh, file explorer is probably the the... the the biggest change, and I like this bug with the green bar all the way around, I'm not sure you've seen that, but uh, it's, I can see it on my screen. Um, I hopefully we'll get the tab browser soon, because I think that's the one thing that a lot of people are waiting for. So thanks for watching this video, you can find out more on thegistlifestyle.com.